on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, this is around after the professional licensing exam, in which we have Oraka and Froppy. You know what, uh, Sue, I, I've been thinking a lot. Me too. Um, you want to go first? I... Sure. As soon as I... I think I like Midoriya. <coughs> as soon as... Oracle just like... Sue, you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is it... Okay, so what's your news? I like him too. I. Oh no. So does this mean we're? I suppose so. Huh? So when were you going to tell him? When after we became heroes? Sue's. Ah, interesting. Technically, we are heroes now. Them looking at each other and laughing. As then they go dashing towards Izuku before the other one could tell it how they feel. Because when it comes to the professional licensing exam, Oraga is like seeing the possibility of her losing Izuku, considering that, oh, wait, that's right. I have possible competition. Mixed in with the fact that, oh my goodness, this Sue, one of my best friends, also likes the guy I like. I have to, she is now my rival, we can still be friends to an extent, but first come, first serve, them knowing how Izuku is, how shy he is, how accepting he is and whatnot, yada yada yada. They know whoever gets to him first and says what the says their piece, chances are he's gonna go with that one. In which they actually fall on each other and this is when Mina and Hagak raise like what are you doing? We wanted to confess to Midoriya that we like him. What? Them both blushing, but Sue's embarrassment is hard to tell. Only having the blush be her real indicator. So, upon hearing this, you both like Midoriya. Yes. So, the reason why you're running and tripping over yourselves is because... You're trying to see if you can get to him first. Yes. Huh. As then Mina and Hagagari start running. Them warning, wait, what the hell are you doing? And like, We're going to do it for you. Which makes it, the stakes that much more higher. As Mina is chasing all the girls about what's going on. Hagagari doing the same. When everyone converges in a common area, he's was there. He's just gawking at his, his license, and he's just so proud of himself. All the crap he's dealt with, everything he survived, is all led up to this. He's proud of himself and his accomplishments. But as soon as... Everyone is looking at him, except for the guys, only the Wabins. As yes, here comes Sue, here comes Oraka, Mina, Hagakure. All four of them just right there. He's saying, Izuku, we like, as he gets pulled into a portal and drags straight to God knows where. 
Everyone saw that. Even Aizawa. So, them looking after their confession, seeing that he's gone. <laughs> they had their heads down and they, their eyes closed. So all they can hear really was screaming as well as huh, a portal being opened and closed. So, yeah, upon seeing that he's gone, they're wondering what just happened. Is Togiyami... I've seen this before. What? The, the, <clears throat> that was... <clears throat> I, uh... That... That was a... Uh, what? Uh, that was a hell portal. Excuse me? Yeah, that that was a hell portal. And how would you know this? I've, I read it in books. And it had a very distinctive picture. No. Yeah, well, for some reason, I have no idea. It looks like Yuzuku was uh, sent to hell. The girls looking, is, are you serious? Bakugo and Noroki. Wow. Bongo was just, wow, I, I, if anyone was going to go to hell, I thought it would have been me. Or Mineta. Everyone disagreeing with him because Bakugo. As soon as he does wake up, Bizuku, he sees this fiery city esque area. Him confused to. Hey! Uh, d Dad? Yeah, hey, son. How you been? Um, I, I, I'm all right. Um, what's going on? Well, <clears throat> you see, I, uh, I have this friend here and uh, he just he he has a daughter and since you weren't uh, I d didn't think you would I didn't expect certain circumstances I asked to he asked me if I he wanted to make a deal and we I I lost a bet As yes, Satan shows up, looking down at Izuku. Like, uh, future son-in-law. Huh? Wait, Dad, you made a deal with a... Okay, let me explain. Please, let me explain. First things first. I didn't expect to have the kids. Until I, I met your, I met your mother. Okay, okay. By then I forgot about the deal. You see, I was drunk one night and I decided to get into the driver's seat in which things happened. I didn't make it, but he came by and just reminded me. Why? Uh, he he saw how much I uh, I put it away. He just me and him decided to party for a little bit. I bought him a drink to say thank you and one. Uh, but then we uh, um what was was what was the bet that he couldn't? I bet that I could play the fiddle better than him. What? I challenged the, the devil, Satan, to a fiddling contest. 
I lost. And uh, he decided uh, he, what he wanted as a prize was my firstborn child. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I, um, um, you sold me before I was born? I, I didn't expect all having kids, and again, I was drunk. I didn't think he was the real devil. I know he's real beyond the bubs. So I didn't worry we, people call him nowadays. It's not my fault. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. What, what, what now? Your betrothal to his daughter, Jezebel. Yay! You, you, you bastard. Hey, I'm still your father. You sold me! No, I bartered. I, I made a deal. I just had to honor it, or in this case, you had to honor it. You just, I just, no, 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 I am not doing this. I'm sorry, but it's been preordained. What? You see, turns out, he, he, he's a good guy. He's, he's not a, he's not all what the people say about him. He's, he's a, He's a great father too. His daughter loves him to an extent, but still, he's not a jerk or anything. He, <sighs> Dad, you sold your only son to marry the ruler of damnation, hell. Do you know what this means? Yeah, I'm going to be a grandfather. I, I... I... I can't believe this. I mean... I can't believe you actually sold me. I haven't seen you in so long. And as soon as I do, this is what you... Ugh. Wow, when you, when you put it in that way, it sounds pretty damn horrible. Because it is. What kind of father would sell his son? I did not sell you. Does mom know? Oh, no. No. No, she does not. So don't you dare. Him just calling. Wow. I didn't have reception in hell. I saw she just lunging at him. Zuku just dodging with one for all. I was like, bitch, give me that damn phone. I was like, asshole, I am calling mom and let her know what you did. As yes. Inko picking up. She's like, okay, how how are you doing and everything. This is what Zuku said. Like, mom, I'm in hell. What? Dad sold me before I was born. Before he met you. Huh? I was just snatching the phone. Just like, Don't listen to him, he go. He's crazy and everything. He, he he knows how much I love him and you and living. He's like, wait, what? Nothing. <clears throat> Zinko's... He's a good telling the truth, isn't he? <laughs> No, no, no way. Don't lie to me, Yazashi. I am not in the mood. I have been through a lot. I, uh, you see, I can explain. No. 
is you can tell the truth or not. I will know that if you're lying. He is. So you did sell our son. No, I bartered. I just, I lost a bet. I didn't plan on having kids until I met you. And him expecting her to be like, oh, that's so sweet. But she's like, no, you sold our son. That, that whole romantic bullshittery nonsense vacation means nothing right now. Will we ever be able to see him again? I guess uh, the wedding. As yes, say he's like, oh no, you can see him whenever you want. As yes, he's a uh, young man. Please, please allow me to see your hand. In which he starts to uh, writing some magic and blood and okay. As he's like no. I'll stretch your hand and focus on where you want to go. Him imagining you a and a portal opens up like uh, really? Yes. Now you can go to and from wherever you want, especially here. But you will be coming back, won't you? <laughs> My daughter would very much like to finally meet her betrothed. I, I um, <coughs> okay, good. Let's shake on it. <gasps> Wait, what? Of course, I need to make sure that you're a man of your word. Ah, uh, you weren't. Is it gonna try to pull one over on me, were you? Son in law. <sighs> Zuku still being the squeamish esque character Simuro he is just shakes Satan's hand. And he goes back to UA running like the Dickens. Everyone looking, seeing that he's back with the, what happened? They, him looking around, he sees a goat. He sees a bunch of symbols on the ground. And he's like, what the hell is this? Tokiyami was going to have... Uh, was helping us find a way to get to hell to come and get you. Wait, how does he know how to get to hell? I've, I've seen it in books. Oh. Interesting. Okay. As yes, uh, this is when Oraga and Sue. Just, we have something to tell you. Oh wait, I got something to tell you guys too. What? Apparently, I'm betrothed. What? Yeah, apparently my dad set it up before I was born, even before he met my mom, and. Yeah, I'm getting married. To who? The daughter of Satan. What? Yeah. So, it's over? What's over? I mean, I, we, we can't go on, we, we can't. What? We can't what? As he gets a little flashback, it was as he starts blushing. Is wait, now I remember. You guys said you liked me. You remember? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do. I'm betrothed now, and as then the portal opens up again, <laughs> he's like, oh god, what is it now? 
as Jezebel arrives. Hi. Uh, hi. Who are you? Her just warming up to Izuku, grabbing his arms. And, I'm his fiance. Ah. As yeah, she looks at Oraka and Sue's. Hmm. Oh yes, I've seen you guys around before. What? But your dad said he you would be happy to meet me. Well, yeah, yes, I've been. I know knew what you looked like before. I mean, yeah, yeah that was obvious. Yeah, I can s watch. She just summons a little mirror s thing in Beauty B style, mixed in with the mirror from, from Snow White. It's pretty much like, show me my true love. As in, a vision of Izuku. <laughs> Everyone's looking. Wait, wait, wait. You been watching me this whole time? Yes. And it seems like these girls actually like you. Hmm. Well, I can't blame them. Uh, yeah, she's squeezing tighter. And, uh,. Oraka and Sue can't help but feel the rage and like they're feeling wrathful right now. They want to curb stomp the daughter of Satan, but they know that even though they may die valiantly and earn their place in heaven, they may they don't want to risk causing such a stain. Them, I guess that's it. I'm sorry, Sue. That me too. But again, we never knew this was gonna happen. Is then it's like, oh, I got my sharing. Wait, what? Oh yeah. If anything, you guys will be more like side pieces or mistresses or concubines or however you call it. Them just did this bitch just call me a side piece? Like, I, Midoriya, can't you? I can't. As yeah, he he's un, he's unable to. What? What do you mean he's unable to? As yes, there is a contract. Unbreakable, you must, uh, you could say. First, is signed in her dad's blood. Then, is signed in Hazashi's. When Izuku and Jezebel were young, newborn babies, you could say. Yeah, they. Their parents signed for them, or at least the dads did. You can imagine that. All you ha all you guys have to do is sign. What? Oh yeah. As easy as that, but it has to be signed in blood. Uh, <clears throat> then look at Izuku. Then look at each other. Then her. Like, are you serious? Yep. And we will be forever connected. Hey man, I've never been with girls before. What? Yeah, I've seen some guy before I actually knew about this. Huh. Actually, you see, this, this is going to be your first actual relationship, isn't it? Uh, him blushing is the girl's just... I mean, all the girls are having a mix of emotions of shock, as well as, oh, that's precious. He's blushing. 
faces. It's very much funny as all hell for them. But they do feel sorry for him. Nonetheless. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be my first tentacle relationship. And I... As, you know what? Me is like, fuck it. They just walk over. What? Mia, what are you doing? If you guys aren't going to do it, I'm not part of this. Is Manetta's like, wait, are you serious? Then, apparently, Aizawa let everyone know in the school that Izuku was missing. And everyone was just about coming into the common area right when the contract signing was going on. So, Mina and Agakure, in their bullshitteriness, Pretty much just what start writing names. At least theirs. What makes it worse is when it's like <sighs> Wait, can you guys get on get on in on this? What? Izuku's a <sighs> excuse me, bitch. Don't you mean husband? As he lunges towards the contract, he pokes his he pricks his finger is about to sign. But this is the way Zuku just like no way. Just pimp slapping Mineta away. He's like, uh, 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 I was just kidding. <laughs> Uh huh. I, I doubt that. As then, while well, he's not looking, it's pretty much like Izuku just turned around, trying to get a grasp of what's happening. Well, but notes to him, or I can see have already signed. But it only gets worse when others. Start to hear about this through a terrible explanation. You see, they pretty much said, Who would like to meet the Princess of Hell? Sign here, and you can possibly get to know her better. That's all she said. Honest to God, that's all Mia said. So, girls are pretty much citing her wanting to invite more dudes, but the only thing is, she knows Izuku, or at least someone, will be ended up disappointed, considering Izuku is the only one that's actually desired here. Oh, and it is tragic. As soon as they actually read that damn contract, they're like, oh my god, we just... So, wait, we're... Them looking in... Him? <laughs> just looking at Izuku, he's like... Uh, what? He's a powerhouse, are you serious? Like, yeah. I can only imagine what his... His powerful quirk can do for next generation. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But if anything, Fuyumi did show up. She wanted to help, but ended up signing by accident. So if anything, there's only four besides, uh, you know, Jezebel, Oraka, and Sue. I say this because now the there's Hagakure, Mina, Fuyumi, and I'll leave it a surprise to who else that is a being betrothed to Izuku. Him realizing that now he has pretty much more fiancés to worry about. Him thinking like, okay, I know in anime this is a dream, but in real life it's a bunch of bullshit. 
No joke. I mean, too many women is nothing but stress. Some of these guys with side pieces don't realize the hell they signed up for. <coughs> However, them knowing the niceness and kindness, the cinnamon rolliness that is Izuku, he is pretty much. <sighs> okay. It, would there be a way to get out of this contract? Seeing their pissed off faces, like, no, we signed up for this. We knew what we wanted. He was like, I didn't even know about this until today. Like, your opinion means nothing now. It is done. And that is accurate as fuck and sad as hell. So Izuku has no choice but to literally roll with the dice in this. No choice whatsoever. R.I.P. Izuku's innocence. But, okay, I'm gonna need to get some training done. To, just to get all this out of my mind and whatnot. Goodbye, I will see you guys whenever. I'm, I'm gone, I'm leaving. And that is the end of that. However, Jezebel is a... I know a place where you can train and not worry about destruction. What? Oh yeah, sure. E easy peasy. Really? Of course. Her just wrapping her arms around him is like, come home with me. <laughs> what? You did not have to say it like that. Like what? You know exactly what you you meant. Oh, I just want you to come home with me. Uh, what kind of training are you trying to get me? Give me or whatnot? Well, you want to get better using one for all, don't you? Do you know about that too? I know a lot of things about you. Her just moving her hands slowly further to the point of uncomfortability. Is all the girls are pretty much. Is she really about? Is she really about to take try to take this man in front of us? Is she, is she trying to court him right now? Pigeon woo and all that bullshit. She, okay. What are your demands? All you have to do is come home with me, and you can train. That's it. So, nothing uh, devious. Is this because I'm the daughter of Satan? Does not mean I'm evil. Doesn't it? No. Hmm. Why don't I trust you? Well, that's just profiling. What? Yeah, just because I'm a demon does not doesn't mean I'm evil. How dare you to assume? I, I'm just. You know what? Now I'm now I'm mad at you. Apologize. And you had to do me one favor. It's like, God, I. <laughs> I'm sorry. And what's the favor? Come home with me and kiss me before we go in front of all these salty ass bitches. What? I'm waiting. Izuku feeling the malice be behind him as he looks. He sees you in the red eyes everywhere. It's like looking directly at Toga. But so she's not smiling at him. Like, oh, can I... I, I'll kiss you, but not in front of them. Then I won't forgive you. I'm okay with that. Really? Seriously, in the world nowadays, if you make a woman angry, she can ruin your whole life. Ah. Him looking back is like, him seeing them nod their heads. 
in which they tackled him saying, we want kisses too. Jezebel was like, okay, fine. Him just being lifted up by her with one hand and kissing him on the lips. Then doing the same with the girls. As he is tossed through a portal and he is gone. The girls are like, we want a kiss from him, not her. Yuzuku's, he's tearing up. As soon as he does actually get there, he's that was my, you took my, oh yeah, I guess that would be your first kiss, wouldn't it? I mean, if it was a kiss on the cheek, maybe you could have yeah, waved that off, but no, I'm on something else. I don't want a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> oh, don't, such a cry, baby. Believe me, I could have done a whole lot worse. To you in front of them. What? Her just looking south of the border. Him just feeling violated by her eyes alone. Like, I thought you said you were evil. Well, I'm not, but I'm still raised in hell. Do you know what kind of sick motherfuckers we have down here? Touche. <laughs> That is true, but that doesn't mean you emulate what they do. I don't know. I, I participate in torture. Really? Oh, yeah, it's fun. Torturing evil people is actually very therapeutic. Makes you feel better about yourself. Regardless of it still being tormenting a soul. Hmm. What makes it worse sometimes is sometimes it's just a person who was innocent until they got screwed over by the wrong person. <laughs> they get they get lighter torture. Uh, uh, but still torture nonetheless. What kind of torture? Oh well, illusions like having them live out the worst nightmares over and over again. The fact that it's an eternal soul which can't be destroyed but is very difficult at times. That means we can keep the torture going for millennia. Huh. I have to mention time moves a lot different here. But how different? Hmm. Ah, think of it like this. Let's say you spend a month here. I'll say it'll be like two weeks. Wait, so one month equals two weeks. Yep. So... Wow, I can get a lot of training done here. That's amazing. Oh, yes, and I can give you a new hero costume if that's something you would want. Oh. Really? Uh, but how much would it? Oh, it won't cost me, me anything. But what would it cost you... We can decide the price later. Huh? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't, wor don't sweat the details. He's thinking, like, what have I got myself into? And, like, should I be scared for my safety? Or at least him looking down my chastity. Oh, man. Him thinking to himself... She took my first kiss. What else? She, what she want to take? What what she want to take next? Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna take all your firsts. Huh? Oh, what you were just thinking? Yeah, I I answered you. I'm taking all your firsts. Those are gonna be be mine. Those are those are gonna be my property. What? <sighs> I am gonna be your first. Everything. 
So you should get ready. You're not joking, are you? No, no, I'm not. And this is where this part ends. As you can tell, this one is actually longer, isn't it? Well, there is a reason for that. A friend of mine, you by the name of Boo Shai, has decided to give me some ideas like, why don't make your videos longer? 20 minutes, that's pretty much an asshole move in which people are wondering, when's the next part going to come out? So why not get them more conscious so it could be fewer parts? Possibly fewer parts. You know, I can drag these things out for God knows how many. I mean, the water ticket was trained by the Dark Blade Clan. That, that's on part 21, isn't it? But yes, I can continue at least for God knows how long. But at the very least, now you have 40 minute parts. Hooray, you get 40 million parts now. Lucky you guys.